Hey guys, Anthony Bandiero here, attorney, senior legal instructor for Blue to Gold. Got a roadside chat question from a cop in, in Texas. And basically the, the cop is asking, hey, if my reasonable suspicion has been dispelled, can I still run the person for once before I let them go? Um, and here's kind of like a fact pattern. So the officer conducts a reasonable suspicion stop on a motor vehicle because the insurance is unconfirmed. Okay, so far so good, right? The driver presents though insurance at the window. So the, the, the driver presents insurance and is the, traffic, is, the, is the traffic stop over? Is the officer still allowed to conduct a warrants check um, and so forth uh, and, and check their license? Well, okay. So here's the question for the court. If the reasonable suspicion is over, if that piece of paper is enough documentation for you to believe that the person has insurance and you know uh, if they have insurance and then it's over uh, the running a warrants check or checking their license is not related to the reasonable suspicion and that's the problem here now if the officer says hey look in my training experience you know if it comes back with no insurance our our you know our databases are in sync um insurance talks to the insurance companies, There's there still may be a problem with the insurance. Maybe we can start doing some more investigation. But if this is a reasonable suspicion stop, you don't get the latitude that you normally get with probable cause stops. See, with a probable cause stop for speeding, lane change, and so forth, you get to do those things reasonably related to conduct that investigation, like running people for wants and so forth. But with Terry stops, they're much more, uh, much more narrow. And that's the problem here. There is a case, and I forget the name. If, if you ask me for it, I'll, I'll throw it into the comments. But there is a case out of Nevada, really, about this issue. The, the officer believed that a suspect was underage, violating curfew, stopped out with him, asked for his ID, and he provided a California ID that showed that he was an adult. But instead of letting him go, the officer ran him for once, came back with a warrant, found the gun in a backpack, and the court found that that was an unlawful over detention. And I have to agree because if the person provides you an ID that looks legitimate, it is valid, it is not expired, it doesn't look fake, it has the hologram, the picture doesn't look wonky like it's, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, you know, homemade and so forth, right? Then the warrants check has nothing to do with the crime at issue. You did not stop him because you believe he's wanted. You stopped him because you believe that he was underage and he proved that he was overage, you know, to a fair, you know, I mean, nothing's perfect. The officer said, well, I wanted to just make sure because a lot of IDs are fake. Well, you're going to have to have something more than that just because making that assumption. I mean, does the ID look fake at all to you? Is he acting, you know, does it look like him in the picture? And that's the kind of the idea here. So that's the case I have to back up what I'm saying here. Uh, you certainly there's a case out of Illinois where the officer stopped a person, thought there was a registration violation, determined that there wasn't, and before releasing him, simply asked him, "Hey, can I can I um, can I see your license before you leave?" And the person says, "Well, I don't I don't have a license." Now that's a crime committing your presence, and we we're good in the court. You know, focus on that asking. That wasn't a demand, and I think that's the, the right answer. So be careful here. Um, Overall, the general rule here is that once the suspicions have been dispelled and you no longer have reasonable suspicion, they are free to go. The fact that you want to keep investigating other stuff and make sure they're okay to drive and make sure they have no warrants, that is what that's on you. That's not on them, right? They they're they're allowed to go. And so what you can do is transition this traffic stop and transform it into a consensual encounter by doing something like this. Sir, ma'am, you know what? I pulled you over because I thought your registration was expired. You, obviously, that's not the case, and I, and I appreciate your cooperation. At this point, you are free to go. You have any questions, comments, or concerns for me? Okay. Well, you have a good day. Hey, hey, before you leave, can I ask you a couple more questions? Or can I just check on your ID? Can I just make sure you're not wanting? You know, that's type. You can do that kind of stuff, but you are going to want to have this clean break, you know, this transition from detention to consensual encounter. That's what I have for you. All right. All right. Before you leave, before you exit the door, hit like, please. All right. That takes no calories. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, maybe throw a comment in there. And uh, until next time, stay safe.
When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.